So let me just go over this uh, next example here. Um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, I was hoping that we would have had um, some stupid, le some people at least get started with this, because basically, if you guys remember, we've gone over problems like this. If we've had a radical expression, all we're simply going to do is apply FOIL, right? So even if you've forgotten how to multiply things, whenever you see a binomial times another binomial, Justin, you can apply FOIL. Or the method that I would prefer is using the box method, where I'm just going to write one binomial on the top and the other on the, other, on the side. Now all I do is I multiply the length times width of each box to obtain the area. Then I add all the areas of each of those four boxes to get the total area. So 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times square root of 2 is 4, square root of 2. 3 times square root of 2 is 3, square root of 2. And square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to be the square root of 4. Now do we know the square root of 4? 2. So now what we can see is these are both numbers. I can combine these. And these are both the square root of 2, so I can add those together. So my final answer is 12 plus 2, which is 14. And then 3 square root of 2 plus 4 square root of 2 is 7 square root of 2. And that's it.